In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through the Tinder-like Pile plugin. This is a uh, mobile-focused type of plugin, though you can still use it for desktop applications, uh, and it works very similar to the popular dating app Tinder, where you can swipe left and right on um, a slideshow of sorts and uh, make a decision for each slide that you see. You swipe, you swipe right and you've made a positive decision. You swipe left, you've made a negative decision. Um, and uh, this has many more applications than just a dating type of feature. Um, you can use this for loading up uh, you know, a list of news stories and swiping right to save the news story, swiping left to uh, discard it or mark it as read. Um, you can uh, set this up as a way to create a poll or a rating system so that swiping right means yes, swiping left means no, lots of different applications. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and get it to work. So once you've installed the plugin, you can add the element here from your list, draw it on your page as big as you want it to be. Um, and this is looking for a list of items to fill the slideshow with. So works similar to a repeating group. You need to tell Bubble what the type of content is. So uh, let's, let's say that we're building that dating application because I think that's more familiar with a lot of people. So type of content will be user. Um, me as the current user, I'm flipping through other users to see who I want to match with. So uh, the data source will be a search for users just to start. So this will return all users in the database. Uh, you probably want to create a filter. Uh, we'll add a filter there to filter ourselves out. We don't want to show up in the list. So I'm going to use the unique ID um, is not the current user's unique ID. Okay, that way I don't show up in the list. And then for the image field, it's looking for a picture on the user data type to fill this frame here. So on the user data type, I have an image field called profile picture. And you also have the option to display a card title, just a little caption here. Um, you can uncheck that so that it doesn't show. Um, and you can actually design, you know, if you want to display extra information, other fields for the, for the user, for the current slide, you can have elements um, to the side of this picture frame here to pull data from your uh, database. And I'll show you that in a second. So, um, uh, if you you know if you do check that this will offer uh, a picture captions this could be current cards full name um, and it'll have that name there but it's just one field it's very minimal you can't really change the design of it too much I would really recommend designing your own separate um, extra info section somewhere to the side or around this picture frame um, and we'll do that in a moment so I'm gonna leave this unchecked and you can see you have other styling properties here that you can adjust as well um, the, the behavior of this plugin is that when you sw you know grab the card and move it to the right or move it to the left, these little images will appear as well. You can clear them out if you don't want that, but um, you can change them if you'd like. They're just images that you can upload directly to this property editor here. So if I wanted to display extra information, the best way to do that is to add a group element somewhere nearby. Uh, I'm going to add a border around this so that we can see a little bit better. And just set the type of content to the same type of content that your Tinder pile is of. So this will be type user. And the data source is going to reference the current slide. So we'll do Tinder pile users current slide. That way, if I'm looking at user A, I see user A information. As soon as I swipe and move to user B, this will change to user B's information. So I'll fill it with a couple things like their name. I'll have a text element here. We'll do parent group users full name um, make this a little bit bigger and we'll also have their we'll say job title right below but obviously you can design this however you want to show extra information but this because the data source of the group is tied to the current slide of the tinder pile they're kind of in sync now all right, so now that you've set up the data source of the plugin itself, uh, we can create workflows so that different things can happen when you do swipe in either direction. So I'm gonna go over to the workflow area and uh, under the elements section, you have these two options here, when the card is swiped right or when it's swiped left. Um, so right usually means a positive response. So what we're gonna do is save the list of users, anyone you've swiped right on, to the current user, just as a way to bookmark that list of people. Uh, so I'm gonna go over to the data type to show you these fields that I have here already. 
I have a field for matched users and a field for no matched users. And they're both a list of users, but they're separate lists so that we can keep them apart. So in the workflow, when we swipe right, I'm going to make a change to the current user. I'm updating my own record and saying, great, I've just swiped right on somebody. I want to add them to my matched users list. So matched users is the field we're changing. We're going to add the Tinder Piles current slide. And then you can do the opposing for the swipe left um, uh, action so or trigger. So make a change to the current user and the no matched users will add this Tinder Piles current slide. So now we have two separate actions. And of course, you can build on this and add more actions, um, you know, however, whatever is necessary for what you are creating in your app. A really quick way to see that you're updating the list in real time is to have a couple of repeating groups here real quick. Um, I'm going to do one for type user and the source will be the current users matched users list. And I'll have a little text here so that we make sure we know what we're looking at. Matched users. All right, and then um, I'll add another text to display the user's name as well. Current sales user's full name. And I'm going to copy this and paste right next. This will be our no match list. And I'll change the source to the current user's no match. So that way, as soon as we make the swipe, we run the workflow, we can see it immediately on the same page. All right, so I'm going to preview this page uh, so that we can see this in action. Now remember, this the data source of this Tinder pile is only filtering out me, the person who is swiping on the user so that I don't see myself. But you probably also want to filter out people that you have swiped on already. That way you don't see them again if that's the type of behavior that you want. So before I do that, um, I'm going to update the uh, filter here on my search for users and I want to filter out anybody who I've matched with okay so I'm going to do unique ID in addition to removing myself unique ID cannot be in the current users matched users unique ID all right I'm going to leave the past user so anyone I haven't matched on I'm going to leave them in here so that I create um, more like a not now type of feature. If I if I swipe left on them, I'm okay to see them again later. They can show up in the list uh, if I refresh uh, the page again. So I'm gonna, you can see here, this is our first user. That's his name, there's his job title. If I swipe right on him, then he's been added to my match list like that. And I'm on the second slide, name, job title. I can swipe left on this person and they've been added to my no match list. And so you go through the, the list like that. And that's pretty much the behavior of the plugin and how you can uh, you know, work with the reference of the current slide so that you can see more information there and also trigger workflows so that your database is getting updated from this behavior. One final piece of workflow functionality that I just want to point out, because this swiping action is more suited for mobile devices where you're swiping on screens and not uh, with your mouse on a desktop computer, you can still allow um, mouse clicks to trigger the swiping. It's a little bit difficult with your mouse, I'm doing it right now, um, to uh, run that swipe smoothly. So you also have have the option um, to use button functionality um, to click to swipe. So if I added a button here, swipe right, um, and start a workflow on the button click, there are element actions that allow you to trigger the same um, swiping response. So when the button swipe right is clicked, I will trigger a right swipe on the card and that will in turn trigger this event here. So this is one, two, three, and I'll still get the same effect. So I'm going to refresh the page so that you can see that. So I've got this user who I swiped left on uh, and I'm allowing to show up back in the list again. If I click the button, you can see that it swiped right very easily. So that's a lot easier for um, functionality on um, 
actual computers, but with mobile devices, the swiping will be a lot smoother too. This plugin is really fun to play around with, uh, lots of different applications, so I hope you enjoy, and thanks so much for watching.